Hey guys, welcome back to our ongoing PJ Trailer Safety Series. Today we're discussing how to safely and properly connect your gooseneck coupler. To pull a gooseneck trailer, you must have the proper gooseneck ball installed in the bed of your tow vehicle. Be sure that the ball receiver is suitable for the size and weight of the trailer. Both the low rating of the coupler and the required ball size are listed on the gooseneck. All PJ trailers take a 2 and 5 16 ball coupler. It is important to have a gooseneck ball and support system with a rating that meets or exceeds the GVWR of your trailer. If the gooseneck ball is the wrong size, underrated, or is damaged or compromised, the trailer can detach from the tow vehicle during transit. If your tow vehicle is equipped with a fifth wheel hitch, you'll need a gooseneck to kingpin adapter. These are available from PJ in both square or round variants. One of the most important parts of safely pulling any trailer is ensuring that the trailer is level when connected to your tow vehicle. If this is the first time that you're pulling your gooseneck trailer, measure the height of your bed and the gooseneck ball from the ground. Ensure that your trailer is level and measure the height of the coupler. The coupler can be adjusted by removing the set bolts, jam nuts, and the low bearing pin and adjusting it to the desired height. Once adjusted, be sure to reinsert the low bearing pin and securely tighten the set bolts and jam nuts. Before attempting to connect to the trailer, take a moment to check the ball and the coupler for cracks, corrosion, or wear. Every year or so, grease the ball pocket and oil the pivot points. Also, inspect and replace the retaining pin as necessary. Check to make sure that the ball is tight to support the structure. Be sure to lubricate the inside of the gooseneck ball receiver with automotive bearing grease. If everything checks out, crank the trailer to a height that clears the gooseneck ball. Now you're ready to couple the trailer and the tow vehicle. Release the lock plate on the gooseneck ball receiver. With the spring-loaded lock plate set to open, rotate it to an open position that allows the gooseneck ball to couple with the receiver. Be sure that the tailgate is down and back the tow vehicle so that the gooseneck ball is aligned directly under the receiver. Rotate the crank handle counterclockwise to lower the coupler onto the ball. Secure the jack handle in its locked and stowed position. When the drop light base is no longer resting on the ground, the tow vehicle and hitch are supporting the full weight of the tongue. Move the spring-loaded lock plate on the receiver to the closed position. Be sure that the locking pin is holding the lock plate. Ensure that the receiver is fully docked with the coupler. To test this, crank the trailer up by about an inch. The rear of the tow vehicle should raise slightly. Retract the drop light jacks. Remember to use your foot to put weight on the drop light plate as you engage the spring-loaded retraction. Check the safety chains for wear or damage. Attach the chains to the safety chain receiver located in the bed of the truck. Never attach the chains to the gooseneck ball or support structure. Position the chain so that there is sufficient slack to allow for a normal turn, but not so much that it would compromise the chain's ability to keep the trailer attached during the event of a failure. Attach the breakaway brake system cable to the bed of the tow vehicle. Never attach the cable to the safety chains, chain receiver, or the gooseneck ball or support structure. There should be less slack in the breakaway cable than the safety chains to ensure that the breakaway system pulls first in the event of a couple of attachments. Lastly, attach the seven-way plug to either the port in the bed of your vehicle or the one underneath your tailgate. Remember to close the tailgate. Check that all lights and signals are functioning normally. If everything is working correctly, you're all set to haul. For more information on PJ Trailer Safety, check out our safety video playlist. Stay tuned for more in our continuing trailer safety series, and as always, stay safe out there. Thanks, guys.